happy Sunday. It is so good Sunday, especially in my house. So I'm gonna show you guys how we get down in the kitchen on Sundays. I'm very excited. We are going to be making salmon, mac and cheese, yams, grilled Brussels sprouts, the whole nine. So I'm excited to show you guys how I cook a little bit. Just a little bit. Stay tuned, we're gonna throw the salmon on the grill. Everything, like, y'all gonna learn some stuff today. So get ready and get a pencil and a notebook because y'all about to learn how to cook. Right now, I'm waiting for the water to boil for the macaroni as well as for the yams. So I figured I might as well get a jump start. So I put together eggs, sour cream, and evaporating milk. And this mixture is gonna go over the noodles after they're cooked and drained. wondering why does this girl have bacon because she's not cooking anything with bacon it's because for me the bacon really does add and enhance the flavor of the Brussels sprouts but it is completely optional Brussels sprouts make sure to cut off the stem end. When I grill my Brussels sprouts, I make sure I cut them in half so each side are able to get grill marks. Before I add the cheese, I add butter, salt, pepper, margarine, and a little bit of milk and stir that in. Okay, please don't be like me and underestimate the amount of cheese that you really need. I did have to go to the store again and get another bag of cheddar cheese, but right here you'll see me adding cheddar, Monterey Jack, and Colby Jack cheese. So I will show you guys what it looked like before I did put it in the oven. I put it in the oven, went to the store, got the cheese, added more cheese on top. So you'll really see the difference at the end of how it looked before and after because I did add more cheddar cheese.
wanted to peel my sweet potatoes after they're already cooked. So as you see, it's very hot. The steam is coming up. And I just used a fork to simply scrape off the skin and put them into the mixing bowl. I typically mash my yams, so in this mixture I'm putting butter, margarine, sugar, vanilla extract, nutmeg, and cinnamon. oven I add brown sugar on top after it's finished baking I also let it broil for a few minutes Now that the bacon is out the oven and it's cooled down, I cut the bacon into little pieces in order for me to throw it in the pan and cook it with the Brussels sprouts. One of my favorite things to cook with is garlic, so I'm adding garlic, the bacon, as well as some olive oil before I put the Brussels sprouts in the pan. If y'all don't have Tony's, Y'all don't have Tony's in y'all kitchen and best because I, I don't know what y'all do. And
mixture is a honey and brown sugar glaze that I like to put on top of my sandwich. 